Hey look, we're back. And where we last left off, the game was starting to get kinda hard. I'm already 20% of the way done. Huh. So, some things to talk about in the video game industry. So, Typhlosion going to P. Diddy's Freak Offs was not on my 2024 bingo card, but you know, here we are. So, it turns out that, uh, there's some people at Game Freak that are freaky deaky freaky. So, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have already heard at this point. But, uh, there was a massive leak at Game at Game Freak. And, while there were some things like beta designs, shit about... Apparently, there's like a person who has all of Pokemon ZA already out. And is just kind of playing it for himself. But, it turns out there are some people at Game Freak who are freaky deaky. They put in the freak in Game Freak, in fact. So, you know how there is that myth of the Disney porn vault? And how when Disney, like, hires their artists, they make them sign this contract that says everything that you draw while under us is ours, belongs to us. So, what people will do is draw porn just to get back. So, it's like, haha, this porn is now officially, uh, Disney is officially endorsing porn kind of thing. This is kind of like the same thing. It turns out one of the devs or a former dev, I'm not fully sure, at Game Freak wrote up a story about how Typhlosion got a girl pregnant. Yes, the Pokemon Typhlosion got a girl pregnant. And it's like, what the fuck is going on there? Yeah. Shit is weird, to put it lightly. So, I don't know why I did that. Yeah, so, P, uh, people are, like, making all these kinds of jokes about how <laughs> it's kind of strange that, uh, really? But yeah, that it's kind of strange that, oh, God damn it. that Typhlosion went to uh, the P. Diddy parties. What a strange time to be in. In some happier, better news, it has been announced that, um, what's it called? S uh, Isolation. Alien Isolation is getting a sequel. Yes, that amazing Alien Isolation game that was probably one of the best games of 2014. And even though IGN gave it, like, a why there's so many save points? Even though IGN gave it, like, a, what, a 5 out of 10 or some nonsense like that? It has finally been confirmed for a sequel some 10 years later. Before you embark on a journey of revenge, dig two graves. That's not your saying. There's probably something else big in the video game industry that I'm currently forgetting about, but whatever. Oh, hi? Would you... Do you... Do you want to talk? Or should I just keep going? That's ominous. Yeah, your magnificence and all. Can I can I heal now? Ow, shit. Ooh. Oh damn, I dashed right into it. Alright. 
Do I have to start from phase one on that, or... What day? I can believe my ears when I heard the commotion. A tiny creature like you, wrestling with a mighty Katsura, guardian of the forest. I must admit, I had the wrong impression of you when I first saw you fumbling with those seas earlier. It takes immense courage to, to even approach such a fearsome beast. Although I'm not surprised you were defeated, it's quite an admirable to see your spirit. Perhaps it would be wise for you to return when you were stronger. That twig you carry around could use some polishing in the city, but if you relish a challenge, please do not stop. Oh, I can beat this thing. I can beat this thing. And I gotta start from phase one. All right. Yeah, it was just easier to dodge all that nonsense by being on the ground. Oh god, it's gonna be the Riku bullshit all over again. So, remember in Kingdom Hearts 1, there was that really tough Riku fight in Hollow Bastion, where you had to sit and, like... There's so many. There's so many. What the fuck? Ah, ah damn it. There's so many. God damn. damage and while I'm just bouncing around. Yeah, there's so that Riku part where there's a cutscene every single time you wanted to fight him that was unskippable. Ugh. There's just so honestly this this reflect one should really help and it wastes all my the charge I got I hate that oh that's not even fair where am I Yeah, the steel flan reflecting and getting rid of some of those, so I didn't have to keep swinging. Whew. 
Yeah, learn your fucking place, trash. <laughs> no, I had it. Hey, awakening ink. And a new. Is that just a bomb? Kabumaru. Tap triangle to summon it and lob it like a bomb, and then press it again to trigger. Bigger blast radius, and after secondary bombs explode, two smaller bombs explode in clusters. <laughs> Glad there wasn't a phase three to that. Oh, he's not here. I wanted to talk about how I did it. Pathway down there, pathway over there. Oh. Didn't even see that. Okay. Oh! Huh. Oh. No, you're not killing me. That's not happening. That, that's not happening. Okay, so that's how you're supposed to do against those guys. You're supposed to just go through their necks three times as opposed to try to constantly batter them. Which leads to a shortcut here. And that thing that I can't interact with. You want to bet there's probably some like god tier gamers that have balanced that thing all the way through that pathway over there as opposed to just doing what I just did.
Oh, hey. At this point, you're what you may call an recurring character. Yes. Squawk. Let me guess. Another little Chris vision. Squawk. Another little Chris vision. The flood fire glides past to Y. The staff flutters in tears like the wings of the beetles. They ride the wind with ease into the pearls when fleas. Some of these rhymes were a bit forced, don't you think? Squawk! I write the dialogue. I'm merely a vessel. The beetle reference was indeed strange. Perhaps this one that live on the mountains might understand. So, can't go that way any farther. Which means it is time to head back and go to the mountains. Understandable. It's an unmistakable scent of the Yusagi clan. I'm Asuki, better known as the Golden Hibiscus. Oh! A botany buff at heart. Now that the inductions are out of the way, the scroll you carry is intriguing indeed. What a young fox Takana doing carrying Yusagi scroll, I wonder. A message for me from Rozu the Crimson Bamboo Forest? Yes, I do remember Rozu. Although it is not a name I have heard since I left the forge long ago. So a terrible fate has befallen our village. The Rozu request has returned to the rebuild. I mean, I do feel a tug on my roots to return to Mahonia. Yet I embarked on my own floral venture, a mission that blooms with passion. I set out to arrange a beautiful bouquet comprised of rare bunny blossom symbols of growth and rebirth. However, they only grow in solitary environments far apart from one another. You may have seen a few in your journey from the bamboo firs, but you may have been found that you are unable to pick them. This is because you lack the finesse that my celestial relic provides. With the blessing of my astral shears, you too will be able to pick these flowers and bring them to me. I planted one bowling blossom in the spore, and it is rooted above me, but I cannot reach it. If you are able to pick it, then perhaps you are the one to find the others. Let the blessing of the astral shears begin. Now step forth into the world and return when you have five picked five bunny blossoms from my bouquet. And then I shall return home to the crimson bamboo with my head held high. Okay, that's fair. Blossom that resembles the head of a rabbit. These are symbols of regrowth and rebuild. They are some things that exist within the world in the celestial realm and cannot be picked by ordinary means. Click five of them for the bouquet. Now set forth in the world. Okay. So I think I'm done with this area until I go to the mountains, it seems. Oh no, there's a bunny thing right there I can get. Yeah, a bunny thing and then to mountains. Oh, why I do that? Oh, that's not even fair. <sighs> All right. Where did it send me off to? All the way up here. Actually, that's better for me. Sure, we'll take that. Already got the bunny things, right? Yeah, yeah. So I can't go that way. Uh, 
Where's the teleport point? Where's the nearest fast travel? Did I not find one in this area? I really have to walk all the way back, don't I? Yeah, just gotta walk. That would have been useful with that boss fight. I'm guessing those floating orange pods would have counted as vitality. I can wiggle witch time. I don't switch, so that's not going to be any if any use to me. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Kodama. There's a pathway to the right here. And then we got another Kodama. Nope, it's a Nekamata. Nekamata. that damage or is it just like I doubt this game would do something like give you like damage that you can't dodge that that wouldn't seem fair okay is that a pathway to the left or do you need to go all the way around sorry that I keep pausing sorry yeah, but it's a metroidvania game it, you're, it's bound to happen Gotta circle around. Kind of surprised there's not a fast travel point in somewhere in here, though. Yeah, I gotta go all the way to the right here. Oh! <laughs> I 
forgot about that, if I'm being honest. What a strange fellow your friend is. There is a bloody battle brewing within him. It is a warm darkness, a sunflower with thorns. Dude, I cannot wait to fight him in a boss fight. Um... Anyway. That's ominous. Do I have... Yes, I do. I'll take that too. A place to fill your tiny belly with noodles made with rare ingredients. These special ramen dishes raise your uh, maximum HP. Coming right up. You gained more health. Thanks. And it makes sense I can only get each of these once. So Lotus Ramen will be my next one. Alright. Ramen shop. Tea shop. Food send fill. Sure. Yes. I'm not really sure what that is. I'm not even gonna sit here now. Okay, I do. Okay, next. Yes, please. Oh, sure. I like how they just built this random person's house, even though literally I'm the only one who can understand her. But I'm sure. Summon the disembodied hand that grasps the nearest enemy and obliterates it. Cool. Mm. The day another drone awakened. Things are looking up since I met you, young blue. Come back if you find more any other lost children. It would be happy to be the one to apply the brush strokes of dating their awakening. I mean, I have the extra one, so I might as well just buy this. Okay, next is the blacksmith. Can I dash these? No. Push them on pedal for me? Oh, you're making me blush. Oh, this pedal really brings me, reminds me of home. Thank you for bringing a piece of home back to me. I do miss it. Oh, yes, I promise. I spruce that bow staff up for you. Give it here. Why doesn't he get a cutscene? Or she? I'm not really sure. I 
I would take just a little more range, if I'm being honest. I don't even need more damage. Three. Okay. I kind of kind of want to see what the upgrade is, but all right. There's one more place a level down from here. place to go down it. Wasn't it like at that statue of the guy? Yes, it was. That actually sounds nice. How much does it increase it by, though? That's not a lot of a difference, if I'm being honest. I want so we'll stick with a steel fan. And I doubt that there's anything at the library that I can get. I see you up there. The Sakura Shogun has recently made it part of their agenda to hide certain scrolls from the eye of the everyday folk. Of course, I'm against that. I'm in business of spreading knowledge, not shrouding it. The second floor of this building is a forbidden archives where the scrolls are kept, but the entrance has been boarded up by the by those that wish to keep the common folk from knowing deeper truth. Our researchers somewhere will find a way to move the wooden boards that block the entrance to the forbidden archives. It wouldn't bother me at all. Perhaps the Kodama could help be of help. Those spirits are handy with a hammer. Oh, well, there you go. Dama for my troubles. Yes. The west of Sakura City, across the perilous waters, lies a forest of crimson bamboo where the full moon hangs heavy in the sky. There, the Usagi can dales in a peaceful harmony with nature, reciting in primitive bamboo huts crafted from leaves of flo local flora. The Tehana of the Usagi can are born from the blessing of the moon kami, Sukuyomi, and exclusively possess a uh, faunal affinity of rabbit. Tehana, born of the Usagi clan, are unique in the sense that they are able to survive with far less sunlight than others. It is this special perk that allows them to survive by the light of the moon exclusively. Some are even known to bury below underground for weeks at a time, never seeing the sunlight while they are below surface. At the ancient tales speak, once in age, with the celestial balance grows on turbulent, a new warrior shall rise. This Tehana, gifted with the affinity of a fox, a natural enemy of the rabbit, shall bear no ill will in its heart, yet it shall be burdened with the heavy responsibility to restore equilibrium to the troubled land. At the time of this record, traveling merchants who have recently journeyed to the forest of bamboo to the west have brought words of devastating news. The villages of the Usagi clan, which once stood at people outposts amidst the tower of bamboo, have been reduced to ash and ruin. The local inhabitants seem to have 
uh, evacuated face of catastrophe. Furthermore, the Sencho Bridge, which has served as a sole means of traversing the waters, the accident through the forest of the Crimson Bamboo, has been destroyed, apparently by some manner of natural disaster. The path to the east is certainly is certainly uncertain. One must assume that this means traversing the distance yet remains. Huh. Sakura. The Sakura, also known as the Cherry Blossom, is a flower of great symbolic significance in the Sakura city. These delicate yet ephemeral flowers that dance on the wind currents in the city have come to represent the impermanence of life, a reminder of the fleeting nature of all things. The beauty of the Sakura is both breathtaking and transistent. As the blossoms bloom for only a brief moment in memory before drifting to earth, their uh, impermanence, however, only serves to make the Sakura all more precious. The fleeting beauty of the Sakura serves as a reminder to every being to cherish every moment to appreciate the beauty of the world around us while it struggles to persist. Each petal is a reminder to live in the past or pre present, for the future is uncertain. The past has vanished. The Sakura is a symbol of the importance of cherishing the here and now, for it is all that truly exists. The Tetana of the Sakura Floral Affinity. One of the various varieties of Tetana, those that blossom forth from the Sakura blossoms, are widely acknowledged as the most beautiful. It is for this reason that many a traveler flocks to Sakura City and also capture a glimpse of one. Though at times the crowds of uh, Sakura Tetana grace the streets of the city, their lives, though brilliant, are also fleeting. They are known to have the shortest lifespans of all variety of Tetana due to their natural limitations. For as long as recorded history, the rules of Sakura City, known as the Sakura Shogun, has always been the Sakura Tetana variety. A variety. However, owing to their brief lifespans, the authority must be passed on, on, to accessors, on to a successor swiftly upon the onset of wilting. Yet the current Sakura Shogun, widely known for being the longest reigning in history, has managed to prolong his life for beyond that is feasible for a Sakura Tetana. Okay, so the Shogun's doing some evil shit. The, the reason for this mysterious ability remains unknown as most dare not speculate. He's like eating other Tetana or something or some nonsense like that. The Shogun, though feared by many, is a private individual and rarely leaves the confines of his castle or interacts with a citizen. When he does venture out, he travels to the pink palaquin quarry by Akami, uh, Akanami service. The majority of his time is spent within the castle, where he is said to tinker with the mysterious technology guarded by the loyal Sakura Samurai. He's like eating people or some nonsense. In the land of the strange garden, there exist two sacred places of great renown. These places, known as the learned as the sites of celestial conduits, are situated at the summit of the Megumi Mountain and within the ancient tree deep within the Midori Forest. The conduits, visible as beams of energy that reach into the heavens, are easily viewed from afar, but have proven to be, <clears throat> but have proved to be not impossible to reach. Their exact purpose or function is shrouded in mystery, but legend has it that if a being stands before it, that being will be whisked away to another realm. It is said that only addendum. It is said that only those deemed worthy by the gods are able to harness the power of those conduits in any meaningful way. However, in recent times, it appears that those who rule over Sakura City have devised a way to create an artificial conduit. These conduit beams, rather than flowing upwards into the heavens, seem to draw energy from the lesser realm into the soaring at the top of the city's castle. This sets it apart from natural counterparts. Since the creation of this artificial conduit, the sun has strangely never set in Sakura City. Though many citizens praise it as a protection against evil, traditionalists such believe that such manipulation of celestial energy is a grave affront to the kami and that artificial conduit's very existence disturbs that natural order. He's like keeping an eternal time loop thing to stay internally in power, and that's stupidly evil. I have an awakening ink and a shit ton of those. Scroll of darkness. Recently, a fearsome Gashado Kuro has been sought in the outskirts of the strange garden. The gargantuan specter, an amalgamation of countless skeletal remains, emanates an ominous aura, striking fear in the hearts of those who have been unfortunate enough to catch a glimpse of it. As it roams the peripheral shadows, it slowly grows in size, a chilling testament to the growing darkness that is developing in our realm. While the Gasha Gashikuro's origins are surrounded in mystery, his appearance ominously follows the construction of the castle's artificial celestial conduit. It's saying, hey, stop fucking with the natural order. A work of the Sakura Shogun and Ashi, his new apprentice. Some speculate a link, yet truth remains elusive. Born of the unresolved anguish, the Gash Gash Gashado Kuro serves as a grotesque symbol of the dire consequences of the Shogun's rule and the mysterious experience he conducts in the city's castle. The skeletal behemoth human forged in raw hatred seems indestructible. However, the power of light and love may present a potential counterforce. While it poses no immediate threat, an apprentice is an ominous warning. The celestial condos light keeps the Gashikado Gashido Kuro at bay for now. Yet, as it thrives in darkness, should it hatred glow, grow, the safety of the cities may hang in the balance. Its potential threat underscores the urgency for love and light to prevail. Oh, a prophecy. 
In a realm of new where spirits dwell, the monkey's greed shall toll the bell. Both wolf at side and key shall turn from above the commie spurn. With shards of fire revealing grow, glow, they seize the sun's celestial throne. Yet as they reach to grasp the sky, their arrogance shall draw the ire. From malice thick and deeds most foul, awakens a fiend a midnight scowl. A beast of bone the wolf will tend to bring about false daylight's end. And yet in land where bamboo sway and lotus teal shall find its way, the world shall keel, the scale set right, restoring balance, ending night. The sun shall rise, her throne regain, and natural order be unchained. Thus speaks the scroll and precipent script, a teal lotus path forever lit. Sakura no Mikoto, the 23rd Sakura Shogun. What is this motherfucker doing to keep to like keep this balance broken? Amaterasu, the grand sun kami, is the ruler of the celestial realm and bringer of light and warmth to our world. She is revealed as a goddess of the sun, agriculture, and prosperity. It is said that her blessings bring bountiful harvest and good fortune. Amaterasu is known for her strong sense of justice and her desire to protect her people from harm. It is seen as protector of the land, and its inhabitants is often invoked at time of war or natural disaster. Amaterasu is deeply connected to the Imperial Galley of Strange Garden, which comprises the three sacred treasures that are said to be given worthy rulers by the Sun Kami herself. These treasures are the Mirror, the Sword, and the Jewel. They are said to be embody Amaterasu's power and authority. The Mirror is said to represent wisdom, while the Sword represents valor, and the Jewel represents benevolence. It is said that the... The Kikon Jewel? It is said that the Emperor who possesses these treasures is one who has been chosen by Amaterasu to rule the land. And that as long as these treasures remain in the leader's possession, Amaterasu will protect and guide this realm. Uh, mutterings of Amaterasu's disappearance has begun to spill across the land. Some people claim the Sakura Shogunate's artificial conduit is to blame, while others seem to not notice and go about their lives as usual, basking the light provided by the conduit. And she has disappeared, her whereabouts are a mystery, and the longer she is gone, the more the world's natural balance will tip to the side of chaos. What is it, the Sakura Shogun is doing some like evil experimentations on Amaterasu and fucking up the balance. All right, let's head for the snow realm. Ah, uh, so I had to go to the right first. made it that's all that matters ah so it is a root a strange looking root found in Megumi mountain it is cold to the touch but extremely spicy natives of the Megumi mountain will sometimes eat these to survive the harsh winters it is coveted as a green and ramen dishes i'm gonna get the ability to ride the currents
I can make that. Shit. enough room to do the super jump. Knew it. Whoever you are, wherever you are, there's someone who is happy to have met you. They remember your act of kindness and will never remember you. Never forget that. Aww. of what the other person say or think you're the world's greatest authority on both art and entertainment. Cherish your taste and enjoy your hobbies at fullest. I like these. At least let us leave flowers. At least let us leave songs. <laughs> sometimes reflect upon my life overlooking this gaudy castle and the insatiable celestial consumption I cannot but question my role in all of this together we build a testament to the strength and will of our inhabitants of strange garden a place where even the kami now kneel and bow their heads in reverence we titana are capable of great things we are also capable of things worthy of deep shame i do suppose there's a certain perverse beauty to it but underneath beneath that beauty the body stack high it seems that ever every step towards this brighter future sinks us deeper into the very darkness we've been trying to escape so he's just evil. He's like literally being empowered by souls or some shit like that. Oh, it's the um The what's it called? Um the uh the wind god So there is a myth of a kind of uh, a place on in some mountain in Japan where the winds are so cold and biting that they quite literally cut you and it's and there's like a weasel that does all this shit Stop it. Tea house? Aw. Welcome, traveler. My I don't fully trust you. We certainly don't get much of the kind travel in this part. You must be braver than most. Yes, you have a certain aura about you. One I have not felt in many a season. I'm afraid there is a little bit tea shortage late. 
I have to take a trip to the eastern tea field to speak with Momo about the blaze in the chimney. The Madimas regret not being able to offer tea to soothe your weary soul. If only there was some way to have an ever-flowing kettle that produces tea infinitely. Definitely, wouldn't that be something? Ah, uh, that would be such a tea kettle as this. Our predecessors did regale me of one old legend once. This legend was an artifact called the Infinite Kettle. Crafted in an age long past, it is said to hold the power to brew endless tea so as long as the bearer's channel is their focus. But as word spread to the kettle, it became highly coveted and the craftsmen shattered it and scattered its fragments, sealing them with sealing them with ancient matter for their presence. The craftsmen hid the four fragments, their location is woven into riddles. From the birth of the lotus we drifted afar, returning and ascend to touch a hidden star. Amidst echoing caves and waterfall, pour tea where the giants stand tall. Where thorns weave walls, a lone shrine stands, take a leap of faith where danger lands. Where waters seethe beneath mountain peak, shake the earth to reveal what you seek. Alright, so go to those locations, do those things, get uh, infinite tea kettle. Understood. I'll do that later. Look at this main character. My goodness, the creatures that wander this mountains are truly unmatched in their outlandishness. But your, your aroma is sweet, like that of a flower. It reminds me of the glorious rolling fields of the east. How I miss soar across the skies of strange gardens so freely. Now there are beasts, most foul, sniping my brethren from the skies. I came to this village to record area warriors to eat, to secure in the skies above these mountains. But nothing, but I found nothing but bubbling brutes only interested in combat for spectacle. You can meet the brutes yourself. You will find them squatting in an event of pagoda on the east cliff side west of here. You are so cool. The storm of a unique Omari that can enhance your abilities when equipped it. Oh, the strat. Yeah, I want the strat. There it is. That's the exact one I want. There's another pathway downwards. Need the warm feet fire. Ooh, it's shivering in a cave to the west where fire has gone out. You likely freeze without bringing her warm fire during the flame of the campsite. How do I do that? Oh, sweet, sweet warmth. How delightful. Thank you, stranger. I'm Akami, also known as the White Magnolia. Lover of adventure. I thought this might be some adventure in this cave, but I couldn't find any. Before I knew it, my fire went out. I couldn't make it my way out again. Another hour or two would have been a cute little possible. Wait a minute, that's what you have. It bears the crest of the Usagi. May I have a look? The message is from Rosu. Rosu's asking us to return to help rebuild our once lovely home in the Usagi Bamboo Forest? It's been so long since I've heard from home. 
I've been wandering these chilly mountains and seeking adventure with no success. But maybe it's time to return home. All right, I'll take your salvation as a sign that it might. Maybe I'm not cut out for this cave exploring stuff and helping rebuild the baby before it's my real calling. I'll return. Not just because it's cold as heck out here, but for the restorations of our lost home and greater purpose. Thank you for killing my adventure, Bo. Was it? That's one. Cool. Proficiency. You're really rewards extra tea from starting enemy. Okay, that's not bad. a pretty good place to stop so it's blatantly clear that the sakura shogun is like fucking with the natural order and that's fucking with the balance of the entire world right or are they or is that too obvious for what's going on either way it we're probably gonna have to fight him and uh ashi or whatever his name is either way i want everyone out there to have a good morning evening day or night rub your rap for right now i am out later